Hi there, my name is Dave and I really enjoy wine. And this wine, this grape, is one of my favorite. It's Semillon. And this Semillon is a 2022 Mirande Valle del Marle Semillon, which is on sale right now for $19 at the DC Liquor Store, regularly $22. So it's a pretty good price for a Semillon if it's a good one. And we'll find that out today. So this wine is from Chile from the Malle Valley, which is in the central valley of Chile, 250 kilometers south of Santiago. Now this area is best known for Capsov and Carmenere, as well as up to 70 year old Carignan vines, but it also has several white wines, including Semillon. And it is one of the coldest wine producing regions in all of Chile. Now, Semillon is a delicious wine. I really, really like it. And in fact, white Bordeaux is Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon. And sweet Bordeaux is usually Semillon. Now, this isn't sweet. This is a dry wine. But if you've never had a sweet Bordeaux um, white, it's so delicious. Semillon is also available at several wineries in the Okanagan. And I've had a couple of Semillons just recently that were delicious. So we can do a good job up here with that as well. So Morande Wines was founded in 1996, but the vineyards are much older. Uh, they produce both popular wines and wines like this, which are a little less common. Uh, Semillon used to be grown everywhere in Chile, and then that sort of disappeared as they pulled up uh, vines to grow other more lucrative grapes, such as uh, Chardonnay and Capsov. In the vineyard, these vines are up to 50 years old and are grown on alluvial and volcanic soils. Semillon has been grown in Chile since the mid 19th century. And these old wines have great potential to express what the Chilean terroir is all about. Uh, now the vineyard was originally head pruned. Now head pruned means basically there's no trellising. The, the, vines just grow on their own and are kept really short and the the um, vines sort of radiate out and they pick them that way but now they've gone to vertical shoot positioning which is basically trellis vines like you see in the Okanagan. These grapes were grown on a south facing slope and were harvested early in mid-March. That's early for the southern hemisphere. Now in the winery 25 percent of the wine was fermented in concrete eggs on their skins, while 75% was fermented in stainless steel tanks, most likely without skins. And then while they're still fermenting, they were all put into stainless steel tanks. And then a previously used French foudre, which is 4,000 liter barrel, it's a huge barrel. There is no malolactic fermentation, so the crispness of this wine should really be evident. It hasn't the um, malic acids or the citric acids have not been considered to um, lactic acids, which are milk acids and which are a little softer. Often in Chardonnay, you'll get the uh, malolactic conversion to make it a smoother, smoother wine. It doesn't mean it's a better wine, though. So we're going to be trying this 2022 Morande Valle del Mole Semillon. Uh, from Chile. Let's give it a taste. So I said appearance, mostly clear. I said mostly clear because there's a bit of cork from my uh, Coravin in there <laughs> floating around, but I don't think it's a wine salt. So I say clear, medium lemon. Uh, nose clean, um, medium plus intensity. I got a whiff of it right up here. Predominantly citrus uh, aromas to me, grapefruit, lemon, and lemon peel. And I know the lemon peel because my wife's making jam right now and she uses lemons to peel the lemon and it smells just, has really that smell of lemon peel in it. Um, a little bit of apple, some peach, um, and sort of some herbaceousness or herbal flavors or aromas, pardon me. Um, grass and eucalyptus is what I came up with with that. Let's give this a sip then. Okay. Dry, medium plus acid, 
medium alcohol, medium minus body, medium plus intensity and flavor, and a medium finish. Um, grapefruit, lemon, I, th I wrote down, it's quite acidic, quite a tart flavor, and that's not a bad thing, and a bit of grassiness. But man, once you have food with it, this is why they should give you food when you do a wine tasting. Because I found that this is fine, but you have food with it, and it is it's a it's a it's a food wine. You know, like I said, it's it's twelve and a half percent, so it's lower in alcohol. You could drink this and have a nice snack or outside in the on the deck, or whatever. It's really nice. Anyways, so I said um, um, the balance was okay. I, I thought it was a bit acidic, but you know, it was good with the food. The length was okay. Intensity was good, and the complexity was fine. I, it was a simpler wine, but still, it had some complexity to it. So, I rated it as good. Um, I think for and then you look at the price, and you think oh, this is this is a this is a good wine for for the summertime or whatever. So, if you are looking to book a wine tour of the Okanagan for this summer, and you're interested in a customizable, flexible and completely private wine tour with a wine expert in the comfort of your own vehicle, please check out the link below in the comments.